welcome to Grace's place. It's been about two weeks since I started my channel and I just wanted to thank all you guys for the support you've been giving me. Um, it's really making this tough time a lot easier. Um, when I did my first video, I talked about uh, wanting to start some hydroponics. Um, so I did, and my uh, seedlings had just sprouted, so I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. So one of the reasons why I'm interested in starting a hydroponics garden, um, not to sound like a doomsday prepper, but because of the coronavirus pandemic, uh, you know, you've seen people going to grocery stores and hoarding things. And I think we also need to think ahead for the future. A lot of people are getting sick. Um, so one of, a good way to social distance is to have your own garden because then you'll be able to produce food yourself. You won't have to go to the grocery store as often. Um, another thing for the future to think about is we, we as a community, um, we have to help each other out. And if you have a surplus, you could share, um, safely, of course. And, um, also because this is a world pandemic, it's not just the United States. Uh, we also have to think about who actually grows our food, right? So the people that come in from other countries to pick our food during the harvest time, probably not going to be able to come back in um, towards the harvest season this year. And so those farmers are either going to have to hire people that are going to work for higher wages or um, Hopefully that food doesn't rot on the vine, but it could. And that's going to cause the price of food to go up. So I think, um, and the price of food going up isn't going to help, you know, people like me who've lost their jobs from COVID-19. I think it's just important to think ahead. And if worst case scenario, that doesn't happen. And I still have all these fresh veggies and stuff that I grew myself and they're gonna taste better than the grocery store anyway and I'll get to use them in all my cooking. So my seedlings have just started to sprout. I have peppers here. This is a humidity dome so this is helping keep all the moisture in while the seeds uh, sprout. So I have peppers here and I have tomatoes. Oh wow, those are so big. That's so cool. But as I've been learning in my research, um, there can only be really one sprout per uh, plant because they'll try to basically choke each other out for the water and the nutrients with the roots. So I'm gonna pick the uh, strongest looking one. Um, and unfortunately, the rest gotta go. I'm not gonna be able to take care of all these plants myself. So um, when they get a little bit bigger, I'm gonna transplant them, a couple of them in coffee cups with some dirt in them to give them to people that I know have yards and they can uh, grow them for their own victory garden. I'm calling this a victory garden because in World War II, people had rations. So a lot of people started in victory gardens so they would have fresh vegetables and stuff to eat and uh, it also helped the economy. So although we're not fighting the Nazis anymore, <laughs> we're uh, fighting a virus. So I think it's uh, doing your part um, just as much as anything to start growing your own food. Hey guys, welcome to Grace's Place. So, it's been about two weeks since I started my channel. 
Really? That was a good one I was going. I can't be here. I can't. Go ahead. Get out. Do you it. You just farted. That big ass fart and I gotta stand here and smell it. You would nice. believe. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I 